Glidewell Laboratories, based in Newport Beach, California, is an industry-leading provider of high-quality dental products and services. The main production item manufactured at Glidewell are dental crowns. From when the dentist sends the impression to the lab until the finished crown arrives, the production process has many steps that Glidewell is now trying to optimize. A key enabler in this is the UR5 robot from Universal Robots, a robot that Glidewell has been following for a while. I think hearing that, um, that BMW were using it um, was uh, you know, a good vote of confidence in, 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 the, in the robot. I finally saw one uh, at Automate uh, 2013 and you know, was convinced at the ease of use and that it was a, you know, a real industrial piece of machinery. A logical place for us to start automation was uh, in machine tending. The UR robot is feeding the CNC milling machines that are producing our Bruxa crown to uh, help us achieve single part flow and, and all the efficiencies that come with that. The milling cycle for each crown takes 10 minutes, so it was not feasible for Glidewell to have an operator stationed to manually load and unload each blank into the machine. Instead of having each crown inserted separately, they inserted them in batches of 15 every two hours. But with the UR robot, it is now possible to insert each blank immediately into the milling machine, right when the CAD scan is received, instead of having to wait for 15 orders to arrive and then to process. So uh, this automation has saved us uh, you know, an overall cycle time of this process from about 27 hours of working time to 18 hours. That's less time that our customers are waiting and uh, it uh, has you know, efficiency benefits throughout our process. I, I see a, a key benefit of the collaborative robot as being that it is something that we can integrate into our environment. So the nature of being able to work around it, um, not have to make a, you know, kind of a psychologically threatening guarded area, means that that robot is, is well received by the people and uh, people quickly become comfortable with it. In, in our history of automation here, we've used uh, conventional industrial robots and uh, we had to build uh, you know, a large enclosure, separate the people from, uh, from the robot, um, which takes a lot of space. Um, it's extra cost, it's less flexibility. It is a safety concern. If someone defeats um, the uh, interlocks on, on, on a robot enclosure, we don't have to worry about that with uh, um, the force sensing in the universal robot. The programming the universal robot was really easy. Uh, even without any ex uh, prior experience, we need any kind of robot just to program a, a basic uh, task. It, it only took a few minutes. Even to get a um, more complicated um, task um, with the combination of the, the, uh, using script and a teach pendant, um, it was just a few days worth of work. Teaching the operator how to do a basic troubleshoot was easy. I just had to show them how to use the teach pendant and to, to make the basic moves. And um, they, were, they were able to catch that like right away. And it made me to be able to forget about the operating and just leave it up to the uh, operators. When I first uh, heard there was a robot coming to Glidewell, um, I was uh, kind of thinking, you know, was it going to be hard? Was it going to be easy? How was it going to be? Um, that was my first thought, um, but then once we got it, uh, you know, we saw, I saw, and it, all the operators saw that it was user friendly, very practical to use, and um, it's my first time operating a robot, and I hope it's not the last time I get to use one of those. One of the things that struck us about Universal Robot was that uh, in terms of interfacing with other equipment, uh, all of these were native cap capabilities. As a result of that, we've got uh, simple integration with uh, in machine vision that we do all the coding in-house for and don't have to buy a you know, proprietary expensive system. Vision that we're using in this application is primarily to, to monitor the material feeding system. So we, are, uh, we have 16 different shades of material. Uh, it is monitoring that to see if uh, any of those shades need replenishing. Uh, it is also checking for uh, jammed blocks so that uh, we can signal a user that uh, they need to intervene and, and, and fix a problem with that rack. We've already ordered uh, two more universal robots and we do foresee um, purchasing more throughout the, the next year as our, you know, as our needs grow.